Hi, beautiful Virgo Nation. Welcome to a new era. My name is Emma. Uh, Virgo, this is your monthly reading for the month of May. Uh, I do apologize that it hasn't been... I, I sort of like to have them out a little bit sooner than when the month has really started, but um, I've been feeling these eclipses or this eclipse that just took place uh, a couple of days ago, and I just have been laying really low, gathering my energy, uh, and not really being able to do all the readings that I wanted. So here it is though. Let's start with three initial uh, cards here, three initial energies to see where this is going for the month of May. And if it resonates with it, there's going to be an extension at the end of the reading. And I would really love it for you to subscribe and like the video. If you resonate with this video, it really helps the channel a lot. Okay, Virgo. I think that was all three coming out in a really... So let's see if that plays into it because they're coming out in, a, in an unexpected way. They just sort of dropped out and, and with... Um, not this side up, but rather this side up. So let's see. Wow. So we have a tower moment here. Let's see what that is about. Virgo, for a winter. This is basically my hermit card. For a winter. And then we have three of autumn, which is all about following your passions, learning, learning to... Uh, deal with your own powers like learning to it's almost like you're um, I don't know what to compare it to like spider-man uh, if you ever saw spider-man um, in the beginning when he sort of was discovering his powers where he was discovered like he uh, tried to like get the web or like the net to just shoot out of him like the little sparks like to to get his powers going if that makes sense or any other sort of super super human with their superpowers like in the initial stages of like creating sparks creating sparks before you fully understand like the full capacity of you <laughs> if that makes sense uh and then we have 16 which is um this in this deck it's called life experience which i love because the tower moment definitely is a life experience and maybe we should just start to call it life experience instead of tower because tow the tower is um is a little bit uh, intimidating because people feel like something grand is going to take place in your life that you don't want to happen but the thing is that you know you're always under your uh, inner beings like you're always under you're on your inner beings watch like your inner being is just completely with you at all times and if you need a tower moment if you're attracting a tower moment if you're creating some sort of shift uh that feels a little bit heavy feels a little bit much uh it might do might be to the fact that you are in need of it to get to where you want to go and i for sure have had my sh fair share of towers in my life and i you know how much we just say we go back and say like if you could done, have done that differently would you have would you have done it differently it's not even an interesting question because you did what you could do with the tools that you had and have the and the wisdom that you had at the moment and you literally couldn't not have done anything different what you're now doing is what's important and it's almost like someone's leading you up to the tower moment it's like saying Okay, should we just sort of get this tower over with so that we um, catalyst ourselves into whatever it is that you want? Does that make any sense? It's like you're being shown this path up to this tower and 16 is sudden shift and sudden change. And so it's like a, it's like a, it's almost like a suggestion. Should we just go to the tower and just sort of get this over with? Interesting, interesting energies as a start here. So let's go deeper here and, and see what all of this is about. So the four of winter is all about your heart and it's laying a new foundation for yourself. And, it's a, and it says, set aside your concerns for now. You can make a decision later. Solutions that come from meditation, the need for more sleep or a vacation. And so I just feel with this one with with the hermit feel here that 
whatever has put you in this hermit mode, whatever has, um, if you feel like you're in a back, like backed up into a corner right now, where you need to make a decision or like you, there's no, there's no way around your situation. There's no way through your situation. You're sort of just backed into a corner and you don't really know what to do. This energy is letting you understand that like whatever hardship you're going through, um, that, <laughs> that crap is going to be there tomorrow. Like there's no, and actually it's not going to be there tomorrow because if you can focus in a way where you, you just, uh, surrender and move into that corner and sort of sit there in hermit mode a little bit and you actually can let go of whatever concerns you that is a way to get around like to get to a solution to get to um to get to be able to go through it does that make sense can we just have a little clarifier here on the for a winter All the cards are flying left and right, literally. Two of Gabriel and such wonderful energies here. So I just feel like I'm so um, uncomfortable. I'm so... It's like you want to give... Us, I, I don't find the word, sorry. I am... It's not comfortable. Ah, I, I can't. I am very, very confident. <laughs> I'm very confident that you're going to find your answer you're going to find like how you move forward the ace of um gabriel which is very much like the empress or even like the emperor is about being confident knowing what you want knowing the direction of your life knowing um knowing just where to go plainly just knowing where to go and the knight of gabriel there is a quick moving entity like it just really it's a little bit of that 16. It really like shifts things around really quickly. Um, and it's a new ener energy in entering your life. And so if you were stuck here, this could not take place. This is a clarifier of this. So there's something here that has allowed for you to just like recharge your batteries, come back into balance. Uh, you're doing something right now to uh, get a clearer clear understanding but I feel like mostly a clearer vision of your path like like where you want to go does that make sense uh, and then we have three of autumn with trying out like tr starting up your powers I love this uh, follow your passion when it comes to your career be the best at what you do being compensated for your creative talents and like I said, I just feel like this is the beginning stages of Spider-Man. This is like, um, and with great, and with great powers comes great responsibility, right? Uh, there's something here that I see this little, this is obviously a little elf. No, <laughs> I, was not, I was not at all going to say elf. So maybe this is an elf. I was going to say a fairy because this is my fairy, um, where do we have the there? This is the fairy tarot deck. And so it's all about the fairies in here. But maybe this is a little elf. It has a little wings and stuff like that though. Uh, but elf wanted to come out. So I'm just going to talk about elves. Um, and also I see a swan. I see a swan. Don't ask where. I just see it. Uh, and the swan to me, like the swan... We can go from ugly duckling into the beautiful swan. Like there's been a crooked path, a weird path, a strange, demanding, challenging path up until this point. And then, you know, we know the story of the, uh, of the ugly du duckling turning into this beautiful, gracious, gracious swan. First being like really f like... Um, I don't know what we call it, like when it's, when it's little, but it's black and it's just everywhere. The feathers doesn't have any structure, uh, you know, and then you turn into this beautiful swan. And not only that, which is like very much for me, like coming into your own clothing, like coming, understanding your own path and be comfortable in your own skin. Uh, but not only that, the swan, the swan story is about um, that the swan, like they're, they're single or they're, they wouldn't call themselves single, uh, but the single swan stays single until they meet their partner and then they stay with that partner for life. So there's something about 
as you come into your own, into your own skin, as you start to understand your own path, uh, and you're comfortable in your own skin, there's the swan in you. And as you turn into, as you go from the ugly duckling into this beautiful swan, and now the feathers are like, the feathers are just beautifully uh, organized and structured. Uh, you're sort of a target. Let's, you're not a target, but like you're just becoming, you're becoming this magnet for then another swan. Does that make sense? If you in the past have um, attracted other ugly ducklings, it's because that's the energy that you've been in. And now you're turning into this beautiful swan. And so you're, whether that is another person because of this one story is talking about like they literally just have that one partner um, and they just mate for life. Uh, you see them often like in, in twos. Um, where was I going with that? Yeah, like I said, if, it, if it's not a partner situation, if you're not looking for love, um, this is also to pair you up with your passion. This is your creative powers. This is your talent. This is your path. This is what you're supposed to do. And you're at the very beginning stages of understanding your full power. And I, I'm talking about that can be, that can be, excuse me, that, that can be um, as you're coming into your like creative powers, it can be that you're finding your path and you know your purpose and you just really go for it. And that, that is like in the beginning stages as well. But for most of you Virgos, I just feel like this is the, um, it's just a, um, what do I call it? It is a it is a magician like thing. It's it's not a, um, a third dimensional thing here. This is opening up your creative powers, your psychic gifts, your uh, non limit self. Okay, I don't really know how to make that justice because of the energy that I'm feeling and because of the beginning stages of that power and the, that magic that you possess is because I feel like that is just real. It's just real. Okay, what, how, how can we clarify this three of autumn, please? And you know, three is uh, celebration, creativity, manifestation. Wow, so we have another night. We have quick energy coming in here, shifting things around. And this particular night is talking about that love connection. So for sure, for sure, um, because we have two nights coming out here now, and we have 16, which is a sudden shift, There's, there can be an element of surprise, like how fast, if you've been on the hunt <laughs> uh, for a long time to find yourself, find your path, find your purpose, and find your person, it, it can feel like forever, 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 forever. That was like the never ending story. It just never falls into place. And then just like that, it's almost like on the day, on the hour, just like that, everything starts to shift with these two nights coming out, talking about this new energy entering your life and it goes quickly. So whatever this is, um, the three of three of autumn together with the knight of Raphael. So Raphael for me is also a lot about healing, finding that wholeness within yourself together with a swan, which is like um, uh, being comfortable in your own skin and all of that. I just feel like you probably wouldn't say that your, your passion, your purpose, your um, career, even finding yourself went really quickly. It, you probably have spent a lifetime honing in and just fine-tuning your own vibration, fine-tuning your life, um, and that has taken a long time, but probably the shift itself, so not the very, you're not going to, I don't, I don't find with this reading that, that there's any Virgo that's going to say, oh, that was quick and easy that I found my purpose or that I found myself or found my path. That was quick and easy that I just got into the perfect career. <laughs> from the beginning, or that was easy. I found my soulmate and we've been together for 55 years, you know? Um, that's probably like one person out of this Virgo nation. Other than that, I feel like it's a complete opposite. 
you've been trying and trying and trying and you've been growing and growing and growing and you have just learned i'm starting to understand the the um, tower it's almost like okay just take me to the tower one more time it's like you've had so many towers in your life that it's not it's not even a we, we call it life experience it's not even a ooh, are we going to experience some sort of tower situation is you're like what are we not going to have a tower situation in the future yeah that's where you're headed um so i love that you're like you know the biggest fear is fear itself right and so when you're out of that fear when you when you are dreading certain things you're afraid that you're not going to find your purpose and you lived for such a long time without your purpose and you realize i didn't die when you're so afraid of what's going to happen when you're just completely out of money like just completely on the bottom maybe even borderline like being homeless and then having that fear and then ending up there ending up in the bottom of the bottom you realize what I was afraid of uh, actually didn't come to fruition. And when you were there, you sort of managed the thing when you were there. And so there's a lot of things here um, clearing up because you lived it all. You've done it all. You've been on the bottom on so many things to realize that nothing really happens besides more wishes and more wants and be clear about where you're headed. And this has guided you, this has led you into the magician that you're now becoming, into your creative powers. And like I said, there's going to be like a, it feels like it's a long and dragged out story. And then everything turns, like every everything shifts like so quick, quickly for you. From nothing to everything. And it's not like, you know, we hear those people... Like they're, they're over an overnight sensation or like they're just coming out of nowhere. Like out of nowhere, they're, they're just sort of walking into fame um, and all of that. And it's like, there's, it's not, it's never out of nowhere and it's not an overnight success. This is Virgo. This is Virgo. Like you've done the path, you've done the work, you've, 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 fine-tune yourself over such a long time and then it's that final like stepping over that threshold or that final puzzle piece that just makes everything fall into place and because it did something opened up but it's not like you didn't do anything like nothing 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 and then overnight success and like oh and there's Virgo no Virgo has worked on like their ass off to get to this point and you're so worthy of this point um and here again like life life experience i love this is like should we just go up to the tower like the tower doesn't scare me anymore it's just part of life it's life experience it's actually what teaches you where you want to go in life and and, and who you are really <laughs> it's like you're just meh. i don't care um let go of belief systems that no longer work for you an important life-changing event a, a situation that leads to significant opportunities a, a situation that leads to significant opportunities so like i said like you're not even afraid of this anymore you even understand the importance of a clear question a tower moment doesn't necessarily feel like a clear question sometimes it probably can feel really daunting and really heavy and really like oh why does this have to happen but at the end of the day it brings it brings an important life-changing situation to your to your to your life and a situation that leads to significant opportunities like that's what is going to yield and i think that you know that and this is with a sudden shift like this tower can actually be a really good thing this last tower i don't want to call it a, a final tower but it's definitely like a final tower in the sense that um let's just say it this way instead there's good towers which means that this overnight sensation this overnight success can be a little can be a, can have a tower of energy does that make sense so let's say just for instance let's say you're this s struggling as we call them struggling artist and you've been wanting to like do something for for like so long in your life 
and all of a sudden overnight this thing sort of clicks into place we would call that a tower situation but it's still something you want like you wanted people to recognize your art you wanted people to recognize your talents and, and all of that but at, at the same time it's, it's a little bit overwhelming because it's like it's everything at once it feels like here I'm actually using another deck to clarify that. So can we clarify the life experience there, please? Throat chakra and in intuition. So this is just walk your walk, Virgo. Don't apologize for anything. Um, be as honest and authentic and truthful as one can be and just listen to that intuition of yours and you're like good to go it's i think you're just you're you're prepared for your future you're prepared for your life does that make sense you're you're coming from a very authentic place and i feel like i've talked with virgo about this a couple of times now um that like you have no crap tolerance you're just not interested in any games in any uh, if there's anything that takes up space or takes up time, you're like, bye-bye, not interesting. Um, you're interested in the authentic version, the real version, the honest and truthful version of your life and of, and therefore of everyone else. Like you, you sort of hold people to a higher standard now. Uh, and the intuition card comes out to just say, follow that inner being of yours, follow that guidance, and you cannot go wrong. So this is feels like a lifelong journey um, where we, towards the end here, have sort of been in hermit mode a bit, um, honing in on our skills, like really trying to s see what you're capable of, like in the beginning stages of that. We have two nights. Like look at how br brilliant you are. This is just very much coming into balance, understanding yourself ace also be beautiful new beginning um with two nights with a quick shift with a life experience quick shift so it's like you've been looking for your purpose for your entire life and understand that your purpose is you like to just find yourself and as you're now comfortable in your own skin we have the swan there um like now life opens up and it goes, it goes quickly. Um, if this is you looking for your person and you've been through like hell and back when it comes to relationships, uh, this is it. Like there, here's your person. Congratulations. We're going to take this into the extension and see what else we can find there. There's two ways to, to get there. So just read in the description box down below, whatever fits you better. If not, thank you so much, Virgo, for watching these videos. I do appreciate so much that you come and um, show up here with your time. And I was going to say, because I'm not completely sure now, I think it's like about two weeks out that we have the eclipse again, like a lunar, a total lunar eclipse. Uh, so just take it easy in these two beginning weeks here of May. Maybe this is a hermit situation for, for you. And then as we come into that, actually on the 16th, I just realized on the 16th, we have that shift um, with that moon. So keep, keep, uh, be on the lookout for that one and feel the energy and feel what you need to do right now. Just nurture yourself, Virgo. Okay, thank you so much, guys. See some of you in the extension. Bye.